Virtual Fighter 6 is officially here. This game is old school, man. And like, I was so young when this came out, so I'm excited to really learn about it, see about it, and really just provide some insights. Let's check it out from the GOAT himself. Lots of Virtual Fighter stuff happened the other night at the Game Awards. And of course, what you're seeing here is that trailer, and it's certainly very different. Like here is our poster boy Akira. Except yeah, Akira. Doesn't I remember look Akira, like Akira for sure. Like he's doing the Tetsuzanko pose, but <laughs> other than that, this is uh, different to say the least. That's cool, but man. But as we'll get into, different is exactly what they're going. Kind of has the same colors of like Fatal Fury, old, right? Same old. It's I not think. to say that the VF vibe isn't there, because absolutely, we have this little gameplay snippet here. I love that is back marketing is so far. The vibe is different, but it's still unmistakably. Look how fast player. that looks, too. They made it you aggressive. Just what little gameplay we have here. It is fast, frenetic. It is yeah. go, 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 go. Like, there is both players, you know, taking multiple turns. They're going at each other. There is no that was a stopping. sick sidestep, though. That's the Virtual Fighter is like a pit fight. Both people are in each other's faces, and it's always go time. We are gonna circle around back to this footage later in the video, as there's a lot. The of real, stuff the real here, question is like, get through all the news as it stands. Oh, that's so dope, see? Because we also have the Virtual Fighter Direct, and this Direct Sega's on fire like, though hey, right now. Yo, we're back. But the, yep, the real question is, I wonder if they're gonna have like any type of like Virtual specials Fighter and Rage Arts and, and all that well, stuff, right? We're like, happy to be here. Is that already looks more aggressive than like this, the way older Virtual Fighters? Other than just that raw little mini trailer that we got at the Game Awards. So we got Virtual Fighter Five Ultimate Showdown 2.0. Yeah, Revo, see right there, it looks fire. Immediately, plus the that kind of like Revo OG Tekken type, of course, which and when they're the always launches, like compared to like fifteen bucks American. So it's a good price point. You're not going to break the bank trying to get in the Virtual Fighter. And when Revo launches properly on the channel, I'll try my best to redo a lot of the Virtual Fighter guides, especially because there is some balance and system changes. Like I went through uh, the patch notes, uh, they're kind of there's there's some stuff there. It's pretty. That looks interesting. sick. If I have my account back, that was maybe a dope we'll sequence. do a video going over some of those soon. But let's talk about Virtual Fighter Six now. So part of that VF direct was yo. Let's talk about VF Six. So VF Six, it looks like primarily it is going to be RGG Studio at the helm. Nice. And fair enough, as a team, they got you know the talent, they got the resources. RGG Studios. Sega's on fire, years. bro. I, I think at these are game awards, right? Sega did a lot of stuff. Prominence and for good reason, because they make very good games. Yeah. And when they talk about what their vision is for the new Virtual Fighter, it's not just going to be same old, same old necessarily. And the big key thing they're coming for VF6 is they want innovation as Virtual Fighter literally created the Definitely looks far more aggressive. That's games, one thing. Right? I think all and fighting games now are trying to get mainstream does something aggressive. Other people copy. It's why Tekken 4 is the dark sheep of Tekken, because Tekken 4 copied Virtual Fighter 3, which was also the dark sheep. So one screwed up, then the other one screwed up. <laughs> and basically, they're looking to be very innovative about it. And we see in the gameplay snippet, things obviously look pretty different. And for things feeling fresh and exciting, they're taking that with the cast. Like, this is Akira. This is the most radical redesign for... A the legend is back is like terry bogard yo in mark of the wolves obviously his look has evolved past angry karate man right uh we got a longer coat here we got like the bowler hat going on everything's very beat up very hobo-ish i guess and the only other person we saw is sarah right okay we got the classic sarah bodysuit kind of redesigned except this isn't sarah Akira had his name at the bottom here, and the name is not Sarah here. It is Stella. Stella. The bridge between worlds. And this looks like Sarah, but if her name is Stella, what's going on? I don't know. One of the things we've talked about from the various leaks is, the you know, plot is coming back to the game and the series. But is this like a Maybe multiverse Sarah aspect too? brainwashed by Judgment 6, which is the evil Illuminati, which is barely in the plot, but it is there. Maybe it's a clone of Sarah. I don't know, but it's it's Sarah, obviously. But the name doesn't say Sarah. But regardless, we'll find out in time. The yeah. model. Looks I have no clue about uh, lore. I was like way too damn young when this puzzles. game came out. Doesn't have you know Tekken doll face syndrome going on. Like this looks like a person with imperfections. Although you know, obviously still good looking. I'm sure the Samus Aran fans will be very happy when the time comes. If you know, you know. We also got a look at some models, and yes, yeah, so the classic Akira look is very much there, as you can see. So it may well be the looks case dope. that all it the looks classic It's cool to see another 3D game back. New look, but also keeping their classic look as well. So then everybody's happy. 
you want to make an all new audience happy, but of course you don't want to cheese off the people that have been here all along. So yeah, facts. All audiences will be catered to. Definitely a culture all game. for all people. I guess Virtual Fighter 6 is the ultimate game, right? How could it not be? Like, you know, it's not out. We don't really know much about the game. It would not be fair for me to yeah. say Virtual Fighter 6 is the perfect video game, but between you and me, I think it's probably going to be. The birth of Virtual Fighter 6 is the death of all games that came before it. So that's the main news that we know. But now let's roll back around here. Let's get back to that gameplay footage. Damn, that looks yeah, crazy yeah. aggressive. So obviously, number one is the aesthetic, right? Like, it the looks stance a little changes, right? like, washed out, not in a bad way, but like very bright, very real, if you will. This looks, and I think very much on purpose, kind of like, like a, a martial fight. arts movie. Yeah. And the stage, well, this is very much not like a classic virtual fighter stage, to say the least. As there's stuff oh, everywhere sick. right like there's no ring out here and obviously not every vf stage has ring outs but vf stages don't look like this if anything this looks like a dead or alive stage bro and dead or what? alive i haven't heard that shit that forever because in that initial trailer we see the environment getting messed around with we see stuff breaking so it could yeah. be akira could shoulder you through a wall just very much like in the actual trailer they want virtual fighter to evolve they want vf to change and this yeah would be a very big way to do it for sure the stage also doesn't look like a clean square or rectangle like there looks like there's nooks and crannies like you could get in between the shacks there so stage design as vf has traditionally this been, looks sick could be taking a pretty wild change just in general and of course the actual gameplay like let's dig into that like Sarah, oh, Se uh, Stella, I guess. Stella. Not Sarah, right? The kick, just good presentational value here. It whiffs. Akira ducks it because you can duck eyes. And there's still a good screen shake, right? There's still a like that move around too. Look at that. Let's you know that kind of kick means business at bare minimum. This is a good tell for a move. Sarah blocks, and we're going to come back to the blocking because there's something here, right? And then we see, okay, Akira goes for the throw. But the throw, like. This is a very Akira style throw, but the throw isn't just, I reach both my hands out and then throw animation triggers like Tekken or VF or like every 3D fighter really, right? The throw animation looks a lot more natural, at least from this bit here. Like it's a fluid motion from the start. <laughs> it looks it's not nasty, just, I reach dude. my hands forward and I pick like, for real, for real. animation. It looks like the startup of the throw is part of the animation. So once again, this really helps the overall presentation. I can only go by what's given. Here, yeah, that, I mean, but this is how this reads to me. Probably one of the now, sickest designs this, I've seen, like in a fighting game. I can imagine like Mortal presence. Kombat looking Look like that, Sarah bro. That'd be block. sick. So Sarah's blocking. It's not just hold G and then you know you have your hands up and you block everything, right? That was She's sick actively too. Actively reacting to all the moves, like raises her arm to block the one strike. Yeah. And then with the low coming in here, she raises her leg, and I guess that move is dealt with. Next strike comes in. She raises her other arm to deflect. Like right? badass like blocks and parries blocked, in this game. But all the sick. block animations are keyed to the moves you're actually blocking. So uh, similar to like how Street Fighter does parry. You get different yeah, animations exactly. depending on what kind of move you parry, right? Like highs or lows. Except they're kind of taking it to the next level. Gameplay wise, this doesn't actually change anything, I suppose. But visual presentation wise, this is definitely next level stuff. For sure. Especially if you want to make it like an eSport, which is what the leak said, right? Uh, yeah, they. I think this will go to a crazy level competitively. Like, oh, this is why this got blocked. This is what this got blocked. Like, it tells a story in and of itself. Like when Sarah attacks Akira, much the same here. You see Akira Stella. is blocking the different punches with different arms. It's not just a static block animation. Like, this is actual next level presentation stuff. This looks fantastic. And then Sarah, in typical Bryant behavior, goes, Ah, oh, I got a flip kick, I got a flip kick, and gets smoked. And Akira dodging it, evasiveness is always one of the hallmarks of Virtual Fighter, in that you can basically evade everything, right? If you see it coming, you can always avoid it. No character specific. So this game's gonna be like probably Everyone harder than Tekken 8. Then Akira lands in with the Iron Mountain. Especially if they're gonna go straight to move, their roots. I don't know. I think there's gonna be something and for that's mainstream. Everything we currently know. Now the leaks, which wound up being correct, by that was the pretty way, fire, man. say this game is multi-platform, rollback netcode, yeah. cross-play on all platforms, so all the goodies you would expect. The only thing we're missing is a release date and obviously more game info. Release date, who knows? On Polygon, they said 2025. I can't see this backed up anywhere else. There is no official statement on yeah. the release date that I personally seen. So it'd be nice if it was next year, but it could be also 2026. 
Now, Regardless, I, though, we have VFI it kind of almost code, looks like a 2026 game. Changes, the rollback net code, 4K graphics, and also it runs at 144 FPS. I tested it out myself. The that's beta, crazy. That's really sweet. So if you haven't played VFI, yo, play VFI. There's a reason that game stood the test of time. And once again, when Revo launches properly uh, later in January, as long as I have my account back, we'll see. I still don't know as of the time of me making this. I'll try to have a bunch of guides and all that ready for you. But yeah, I'm very excited. I've been waiting so... So th this has been insane. I think, first of all, I wasn't really around when this game was like at its peak. So, or like the late, like the latest one, I think, what was it? Like an 06 or something like that. I wasn't around for that at all. But definitely like it's main, main games. I was like way too young or not even born. Um, This though is huge because I, I think if they keep it, especially in a competitive state, like they don't let like no rage art type essences, no ways to really come back. That's going to be insane. Those, those parries and those blocks are hard. <laughs> this will definitely be the most difficult fighting game for sure. If they keep it like a 3D essential, but without all the other like heat burst and tank, but it does look aggressive. So I'm thinking they're going to add something. I just don't think they're going to add like everything Tekken has. Maybe I don't know, but at least there's another competitive 3D game and I know Tekken's excited for it. Y'all let me know y'all's thoughts, man. And this is Pretty legit, bro. Peace.